I'm Christy Kniff, I'm an archaeologist. I'm here in Attenry Priory, uh, one of the most significant buildings within the walled town of Attenry, and we're going to look at some of the architectural features here today. First things you observe as you walk into the Priory here are all of the grave slabs that are on the floor. Uh, and that's not to be uh, wondered at, because uh, this was a very important place for burial. One of the functions of the friars, of the Dominicans themselves here, uh, was to actually say masses for the dead. If you like, the aristocrats of the town, the wealthier people of the town and of the hinterland here, both the Anglo-Normans and the Gaelic Irish, wished to be buried in religious houses like this. And I suppose one of the, the most significant burials we see here uh, we're pretty certain of is uh, this medieval slab here, this coped slab. That's believed to be the burial place of Myler de Birmingham, the founder himself. The Anglo-Norman Baron Myler de Birmingham built a priory here in 1241 as part of his development of the town of Attenry. The, the building itself comprises of a number of elements typical of these religious houses. Uh, first of all, we have the uh, nave within which we're standing at the moment. Uh, behind me, we have the, uh, the chancel and choir, uh, which would have been where the friars themselves would have sat and uh, attended mass. And then we have a side chapel that was built on in the later medieval period, in the 14th century, and also a nile that was built on as a second phase to the building. The priory here is actually outside the uh, River Claren, but inside the wall of the walled town of Attenry, which is unusual. Generally within walled towns, you find that the uh, religious house is located outside the uh, moat and the uh, town wall. We're now in the Lady Chapel, or the Side Chapel. Um, it's called the Lady Chapel simply because there was an altar here dedicated to Our Lady and the altar would have been on the east wall here, or perhaps two altars. We, we don't really know. But we know that in uh, 1344, uh, William Walls was buried here. So it was being used as a chantry chapel in that sense. In other words, a burial chapel. But one of the, um, the important features here are the series of arcades that we see here on the uh, north wall. Each one of these would have contained a statue or effigy of a saint. Well, we see two uh, large burial monuments within the choir of the Priory here. Uh, and of course, these are very big. Uh, they're also, they also look intrusive in many ways uh, within the choir. But what we have to remember at this stage is that the building itself is no longer functioning as a place of worship. It's out of use as uh, a Priory, but is now used mainly for burial. So we have the, the first of the large tombs here to the Birminghams. Lady Matilda Birmingham is buried here. Uh, she came from uh, Attenry House. And then to the rear of that, we actually have the Clan Rickard or the Burke tomb uh, in the uh, south corner, southeast corner of the uh, chancel area. 